we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the examination for a possible navicular scaphoid fracture and the um, she actually has one we discovered that today she you fell on your outstretched hand is that right mm -hmm. so how did you fall i slipped over and i fell like that okay and you were roller skating i was skateboarding skateboarding so when i pushed off i fell backwards and stepped Oh, got it. Okay. And that is a very common way of how this scaphoid bone is fractured in the wrist. All right. We're going to demonstrate several ways on how to um, make this diagnosis or, or the different elements of the examination here. So basically, I'm taking the wrist, I'm going to cock it up a little bit like that, and I'm going to do axial loading. I'm just kind of reproducing that, how the injury happened. Okay. The second thing is, and the most common thing, is the snuff box. If you look at my if you look at my my wrist there, and I go let's take the glove off, and and basically there's two tendons that come right along here, and if you look at that, this is the area called the snuff box, the anatomic snuff box, and the old days I guess the guys would put some snuff in there and they you know snort it ah. just like that. So, and again, if I put my thumb right on your snuff box, um, and and I can cause pain and you're wincing because that's that's hurting you. Okay. The other aspect of this, you take the hand, you turn it over, and there's a prominence right there. And, and that prominence, again, is part of the scaphoid or navicular bone. So if I push, I, I got it earlier, but if I push on that, that hurts. Okay, so, you, yes, okay. All right. So now, the, the last thing is, if you, like you're shaking my hand, now it, take your hand and, and twist it this way. And that, and that hurts you a lot, right? You, you jumped when you did that, yes, too. Sir. Uh, now squeeze my hand like you're shaking my hand. Does that hurt you, too? or That does, too. Okay, there's a little bit different ways that you can do that. So, so we're going to put you in a splint, and then we're going to have you see orthopedics for this coming week. Mm -hmm. Okay? So hopefully, hopefully you all heal up fast and uh, won't have a problem. Occasionally they need to do some additional treatment on, on these types of fractures. Sometimes you can get arthritis, so you've got to be real careful with this. All right? Yes, okay, sir. good. All right, thanks so much. All right, so we did a little thumb spike splint. Basically what we did was to uh, take um, multiple strips of plaster and, and cut a V at the very end. And we just put basically plaster around here, plaster on the, turn your hand over sweet. So plaster came around there and then plaster, and the plaster on top. So, um, and then the plaster goes, plaster goes all the way to the end there. Does, does it feel comfortable? Does it hurt you in any way? No, sir, it doesn't hurt. Okay, good.